All right, so now we're gonna talk about one of the most important types of problems that you guys are gonna get in this chapter. And it has to do with identifying the relationship between two different types of isomers. All right, so maybe you guys remember this flow chart. I made it when we were talking about constitutional isomers. Remember that we talked about how the very first step is to verify that all the atoms are the same. So we would count the non-hydrogen atoms and the IHD in both compounds. We said if they were not exactly the same, then they were different compounds. Okay? And then we said that if they were the same, then you would go to step two. And then we would talk about connectivity. And we said, are they all connected the same? We talked about that you look for a landmark atom. Okay, this is all review based on what we learned from constitutional isomers. And then we said if they're not exactly connected the same, then they're constitutional isomers. And then we said if they were, we said back then, we said that if they had the same atoms, and if they were connected the same, then we were going to say that they were identical. Okay, so usually for the, when we we're talking about constitutional isomers, we would have put identical in this blank. But it turns out that now that we have the possibility of stereoisomers, we actually have to go to step three now, okay? Instead of just assuming that they're identical, now we have to look at the stereoisomers. We have to say stereocenters. We have to say, is this an R? Is this an S? Stuff like that. 